Hi guys, it's me again with a new I Am Fun Size for you. Um, I got a very interesting question uh, in my email box from one of you, and um, uh, I really wanted to answer this as soon as possible, but I also wanted to take my time once again to get my thoughts really clear on it because it's a topic that I have struggled with throughout my life. And um, I think I figured out my own personal answer to it, and uh, hopefully it's something that might help some of you. So um, one of our contributors, one of you guys, sent me an email asking, why do we get lonely? And what do we do with loneliness? Um, this particular person said that she doesn't understand the fact that she can be around so many people and still feel so, so, so lonely, and she doesn't really understand how to solve that. Well, in my experience, the times that I feel the loneliness are not just the times that I feel not connected to other people, which is something that we innately as human beings want to do. We want to feel connection to each other. We have that desire. Um, you know, we're not the only animal that does that. That's been shown throughout so many species in nature that there's a desire to bond with, with your kind. But I found that I have felt the most lonely in myself, in my life, when I'm not enjoying my own company. And what exactly does that mean? What does that mean to, you know, not enjoy your own company? I spend a good chunk of my life pretty much looking for anyone outside of myself to help me not feel lonely, to help me feel like I belonged, to help me feel like I was connected and I mattered and that I was worth loving and all of these different things that I was looking to people outside of me to solve. And what I realized that when I was, was that when I was alone, Unlike when I was a kid and when I was alone, I would just kind of be creative and do my own thing and, you know, make construction paper animals and all sorts of fun stuff. There was some point in my life where I started recognizing myself, talking to myself in really unkind ways, um, criticizing myself, telling myself I wasn't enough, telling myself just not nice things that I, I wouldn't ever say to anyone else let alone someone I cared about. And yet I was still saying those things to myself. And what I realized after a time was that I felt lonely because I was looking for someone else to take away those voices in my own head, my own voice that was saying all of these things to me that I didn't want to hear. I wasn't enjoying my own company. Now, the flip side of that is not that I have to run around and tell myself how great I am in order for me to enjoy my own company, but being alone and being lonely don't have to be the same thing. And we all know that we've all had experiences where we're alone and we're so engaged in something that we feel great, or when we're in a room full of people and somehow we still don't feel connected. So I really do think a big part of that is about feeling connected to yourself. And that's what I mean by enjoying your own company. What are the things we say to ourselves when we're alone? Do we say, oh, I'll never find a boyfriend or I'll never find a husband because I'm just not pretty enough or I'll never get that job because I'm just not good enough or oh, any number of things that we're looking for someone outside of ourselves to validate. Any number of things that we're looking for someone outside of ourselves to say, no, 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 of course you're beautiful, of course you're talented, of course you're successful. All of those things are things that at some point or another we need to give to ourselves. And it doesn't have to be, of course I'm the greatest thing in the world, but of course I'm enough. I'm enough for me. To be able to say that to yourself, to be able to say, yeah, I, I'm a good person, to be able to say to yourself, I'm a good friend, I'm a good daughter or wife or husband or whatever it is, to be able to enjoy your own company because you know that this person, whatever circumstances are surrounding it, is a good person and someone you want to spend time with. And that, I think, is an answer sometimes to curing that loneliness that you feel when you just don't feel connected in the world. It's, it, it's partly because you don't feel connected with yourself, um, or at least for me, it, it is that way. So in addition to reaching out to other people when I'm lonely, sometimes I find that reaching in and seeing what I'm 
actually saying to myself or doing for myself makes a big difference, especially if I'm in a situation where I can't uh, actually be with the people I love or I can't actually be with uh, friends for whatever reason. So, so I hope that helps a little bit. Um, at least it's something that I find that we can actively do for ourselves when we're feeling lonely. Um, in addition to obviously reaching out to dear ones and reaching out to find people who we might be able to help or other people who might be lonely that need a phone call. So that's my answer for that today. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions or any other thoughts on this topic, please email me at Anjali at IamFunSize.com. I am loving all of the emails I'm getting. I'm getting loads of them. So forgive me if I'm not responding right away, but I promise you I am reading everyone and um, I will get to every single one of you either in an email or in a video. I absolutely 100% promise. Okay, guys, uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.